May 1st. Roberto scored his first goal of the year in the Cosmos' second game, the home opener at Giant Stadium against Montreal. May 8th, two games later, again at home against the Strikers, Roberto with the Gamer, two and a half minutes into overtime and a 3-2 win over Fort Lauderdale. The Cosmos' next game, three days later, out in Seattle, 47 seconds into the second half, Roberto Cabanas puts away a rebound. May 15th, game number six of the year, goal number four at home against Tulsa. Fifth score of the day for the Cosmos and a 5-2 win over the Roughnecks. Roberto didn't score again in the Tulsa rematch, but came back in the eighth game of the season to notch his fifth goal of the year against Golden Bay. It was a 5-1 win for the Cosmos at home. Three minutes left in the match, five goals in eight games for Roberto Cabanas. The Transatlantic Challenge Cup followed in the championship game June 5th. Cosmos 4, Seattle 1, Cabanas with 13 minutes left in the half, scoring on a header. Pretty. Show it to you again. Back to NASL play in San Diego. Scoreless into overtime. 5.56 into OT. Roberto won it. Jim Gorsuch couldn't hold on. Goal number six for Cabanas in a 7-2 romp over Hamburg. Cabanas got a goal, which tied it at one on June 15th. Still in the Hamburg game, late in the match, remember this one? Little dipsy do. Roberto makes it 6-2. On June 17th against Team America in Washington, Roberto with the goal late in the game to tie it at one, his seventh of the season. Cosmos lost that game in a shootout. At home against Toronto, goal number eight on June 19th. In the second half, goal number nine, it made it three to nothing. The Cosmos won the match five to one. Roberto got his 10th of the season, June 22nd, in a three to two loss against the Chicago Sting. Only game the Cosmos have lost at home this season. Remember, he fought off Dave Hewson, good strength. In the second half of the first matchup with Vancouver, June 29th, Roberto with number 11 to make it 3 to nothing in the shutout win over the Whitecaps. The next game for the Cosmos, July 1st, 5-2 loss in Chicago. Cabanas with one of the goals, number 12 on the year. Cosmos lost the match 5-2. And number 13 came at home in a 4 nothing win over Team America July 6th. Easy. Roberto Cabanas, and as promised, we will show you again Roberto's 14th goal of the season last night. Spectacular, happy feet. I got to tell you, I don't even think Michael Jackson could have done that. It was the Roberto Cabana Show at Giant Stadium this week. The acrobatic young scoring sensation rewarded the loyal Meadowlands crowd with a league spectacular goal of the year to lead a 3-0 victory over Tulsa last Sunday. And then he encored his feet with a pair of flying side-wheeling volleys against Seattle Wednesday night. Tampa Bay having trouble getting it out of their own zone now. Intercepted by Di Bernardo. Now here comes Cabanas and a little flip and a goal! The Cosmos have tied it up. Tampa Bay making a mistake defensively, as we had told you. They just couldn't get the ball out of their zone, Seamus. And as a result, as a result, the Cosmos, as you see it again, Cabanas ended up with the ball really well taken. He waited for Stars to go down, a lot of patience, and then lifted it over him. A nice bit of skill. Bogey had a lot to do with this. He kept it alive. Now Cabanas with that quick move. And the keeper down, and that's a skillful shot. Romero getting it to Moyers. It slipped through to Steve. Now a long pass for Romero. He's onside. 
Now lost the ball, but it comes right to Cabanas. Cabanas, one-on-one -on -one chance. Around the goalkeeper, and now we'll walk it in the goal. And that's a goal. And the Cosmos leading two to one. So that time, the combination of Cabanas and Romero. And the Cosmos leading two to one. Again, watch Cabanas jitterbugging around and just walking it in the goal. Now to Ricky Davis. Davis to Romero. Romero to Cabanas. Cabanas a shot in the goal! Roberto Cabanas a hat trick. Tough break for the Rowdies, but a beautifully set up goal. And here we see it again as he shoots into the corner, right onto the goalkeeper.